Hey guys, you're watching BTECH, my name is Basil and this video is all about Final Fantasy IX, recently announced for iOS and Android. That pretty much blew my mind. I love the Final Fantasy range, it takes me right back to being a kid. But before I jump into that, I'm going to tell you about the storyline, tell you about how it performs, tell you a few things you really need to watch out for. I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Subscribing helps us out massively. Right now onto the game. Final Fantasy IX takes this protagonist, Zidane and he captures a princess and then I'm not going to tell you anymore because that might be ruining for you if you wanted to play the game yourself and I thoroughly encourage you to do so. But before you do, a few caveats on the mobile version. iOS or Android, it takes up a shed load of memory. Four gigabytes. That's huge. If you've got an Android device, it actually requires you have around eight gigabytes free before it will even properly install. So you'll want to make sure that that's internal memory. I've seen loads of comments and reviews on the app that people have found it's not installing and they've got big SD cards, but big SD cards don't work with Android. That's not how the operating system installs games. So it has to be internal memory, 16 gig, eight gig phones. You probably won't be able to install it, which is really, really, really sad. But if you do have a 32 gig, 64 gig, or even a 128 gig smartphone, you will be laughing. And once you do kind of buy it, which is not an inexpensive purchase, it's currently at 20% off at £12.99 in the UK or $16.99 in the US. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Right, so you start the game and you can very clearly see instantly all the full motion videos, FMV stuff, um, and the soundtrack is really, really true to the original. You do have black borders around the sides, so it's kind of sideways letter boxed, and that start takes away initially, but you really do get used to it quite quickly. What's also great is the characters have been redrawn, so they look more detailed and more engaging than they ever have before. And this is most true in the battle scenes when the whole staging has been redrawn. Anyone who's played Final Fantasy games or the older Final Fantasy games will know that all the 3D characters move over what's basically a 2D image that's computer generated or hand illustrated depending on which game you're playing. Now these haven't been redrawn or it doesn't look like they've been redrawn so you've got these super sharp characters against these quite washed out blurry backgrounds. Now I want, washed out's unfair because they do look engaging but they just don't look as sharp they look over softened so that's the only real thing about the graphics that I'd grump about that it do doesn't feel as cohesive as it perhaps should and did on the original original PlayStation with the less impressive character drawings. But that said, when you get over it, it is really, really captivating. You've got loads and loads of stuff happening on screen. The controls are really easy to get to grips with. Um, it works with a joystick type motion, um, or you can indeed tap on various parts of the screen to just direct your character there. Um, and it works with a Samsung gamepad and gamepads in general, the Android version, untested on the iOS version. So that means you can play it like a console or a handheld console, and it feels like a handheld console. Doesn't feel like you're playing a mobile game. Got some good earphones on and it's just like you're 15 again or I'm 15 again anyway it's a beautiful beautiful thing and I would thoroughly recommend it if you've got the cash to spend and a device with enough memory on board but this isn't a full review I'm not going to ever claim that it is because I've only been playing it for about two hours on Android and an hour on iOS and it is a very 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 raw first impression but if you have any questions I'm going to keep playing it so let us know what they are in the comments section below and hopefully you found this useful and any of my warnings prevented you from being majorly disappointed if you did thumbs up subscribe that's how you will stay on top of everything that we do thanks for watching